In this video we are going to talk about the myth that you can create your own recordable DCC tapes from regular analog tapes. Can it be done? Let's put it to the test. We received help from Jon Simonsma in the Netherlands, who said he could prove a stable and working solution and even created a helpful device to transform analog tapes to DCC. Last week we received his sample tape and device and we will show you the amazing results. The design of a DCC shell is totally different than a regular analog version. Not only was different tape used, the BASF CK5021, which is basically a chrome videotape, but there were also several holes in the DCC shell to let the player determine the length of each DCC tape. There were 45, 60, 75, 90 and very few 105 minute versions. The metal slider is to protect the tape. Firstly, we will put Jorn's sample tape to the play test. The sample tape was working on all of our testing equipment, so we had to try this ourselves. We use chrome tape from TDK, Sony and Maxell. We only used new tape. The metal device was really easy to clamp on the analog cassette and very well designed, since it only fitted in one way. The holes had to be made with a soldering iron, because we did not want any of the debris falling into the shell itself. First test using the Maxal XL2. The tape immediately gets recognized as a DCC. We had a few, but still annoying dropouts on this tape. The next tape that we're going to test is the Sony UXS. We found that the reason only the Sony UXS was working perfectly and the Maxell XL2 came somewhat close was that both tapes have an anti-vibration mechanism. The DCC tape is extremely sensitive for movement and therefore they included ALP, which stands for azimuth locking pins in the design of the shell, holding the tape much better position and support the fixed azimuth tape guidance. This will allow for much better tape contact with the player's head and that is missing when you are converting regular analog tape. So why would anyone even consider doing this? Well, in the early 90s, a DCC tape would cost around 15 to 20 US dollars, while a regular tape was only between two and four. Nowadays, the price for both quality tapes tested here lay around $10. No need to be doing this today, but still very interesting to finally have proof that you can use some type of analog tape to make a digital recording. See you next time.